Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 11 and 12 of Saki Side A. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. I am sleeping. <laughs> I still think this is reckless for her to do this because she might really hurt herself. Turning out. Yeah, but look how exhausted she looks. You want to use it one more time? I want to go to sleep. <laughs> but I'm only tired because I took another nap earlier in the day. Because I wasn't going to record this, right? And normally, um, my mom likes to come in and kind of talk to me or ask me a question while I'm recording. And I, I secretly dislike when she does that because I'm like, ugh, I'm trying to get everything done in like one take. And such, so that I don't have to over and extend my minutes of recording and such. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna wait. 
and, you know, due to some things and falling asleep and then, you know, her having to go, um, finally now recording this at night and I am super sleepy, but I'm like, nope, I have to stay up for one more hour, technically another two hours to edit this and get this out for y'all. So enjoy. <laughs> so, oh my God, please don't be mad. It's going to be worse out of record the next two on Monday because that's going to be literally after work and I'm going to be even more tired. See, now, oh god, that was my other <laughs> mouth. Now it finally makes sense on why you have your strongest people first and then your non as strong people last. Because I was like, why the fuck are they having her go first? You know, I mean, damn, your best should be going last because you're saving the best for last. But now that we finally have context on that, like, now I get the reason why. It is a sacrifice, truly, but sometimes it could be a good or bad indicating on it. <laughs> One of y'all has to change this very quickly. See, but I think that's because you used up all your juice, baby. And once you use all that up, I think you're good for the rest of the game. She about to eat y'all alive. Like, oh my god.
What do you want to do? Go and call a forfeit? A forfeit? My god, my speaking. Yes, that's what I think. Baby used too much of her ability, and she can't do anything to save her behind. And, and then these three. <laughs> you sent your sister. Yeah. They're like, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to go in. My sister's in. I'm a little scared. I need a little time to myself. No, no, no. That's not it. God, look at her. She's just about to faint any moment. Her eyes are messing up. That's sweet that, like, you know, the doctor is saying, hey, everybody needs to, like, accommodate their hours on her. Truly. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't feel bad. It's, like, extra training.
Oh, God. Go get a soda or something after this. I'll we'll record the next episode. It's a crazy way to restore your blizzard, I mean, your blurriness and your vision, but Jesus. Good morning, he was just, oh, there he is. I would just, once again, call it fucking quits because she's like, she's a fucking godsend tyrant. Like, no one can stop her. What you eating? What you eating? Something you're not supposed to? Ah, nope, nope. 
Nope. No. On the bed. No, no, please don't hurt yourself. Sorry. That's because you are so freaking tired, baby. She really about to hurt herself now. This girl just unlocked her motherfucking third eye. What the fuck is this episode? This girl might be in a coma after this. She might not physically be able to compete after this. What was this episode? Like, it was good, don't get me wrong, but what the heck was this episode? I, I mean, homegirl is like, yes, mm hmm I have to use my third eye. As much as everybody's telling me, no, Toki don't do it. She's like, yes, Toki, yes, do it. In order for me to win, we have to do this. But I also do like the fact that once again with um the girl with the kind of weird looking pigtail that I love so much that kind of gives me like main feels from Pokemon. Um, we got the context of why making the stronger characters go first for the weaker characters. It's still a little weird to me. I, I mean, because if it was me, I would rather have weaker people go in first than the strongest ones because I would never, in my opinion, truly have my best of the best come out first. But it's I would say only, in my opinion, maybe if it was like their senior year or something where you want that person to outshine everyone else because, you know, like college uh, teachers and professors are looking uh, athletes and stuff like that, coaches and everything. But yeah, and then Saki, you know, having that moment and thinking of her sister and being like, yeah, y'all go ahead, I'll stay here. Like, ooh. Oh my God. I don't like the way this music is going. This is this is truly like final battle. One, two, something bad is going to happen. Three, she's obviously going into a coma. That's it. Oh my God. This, this is part one of depression. Like, I mean, well, no, last week's episode were depressions part one and two. This is depression parts three and four. Like, oh my God. Just between this and descending, descending stories, like, God, the, these episodes, like, they're super good, but hella emotional on, like, the moments and everything that's truly writing on this for all of these girls. But once again, I feel like we're getting into, and we already are in, where no one can defeat 
Saki's sister except Saki. So it's just like, God damn it. Like, I want Saki to go in and, you know, try her best against her sister. But still at the same time, Saki herself is still afraid of her sister. She's like, she literally wouldn't go into the building. She literally told the other two to go on without her. And she's sitting out there almost having this inner monologue battle with herself. Like, making this decision on should I go or not and of course it's a very hard decision for her because she's like damn if I see my sister again what if she doesn't acknowledge me once again all these what ifs that she's thinking about all these different problems and solutions that she's trying to solve like I feel for her I feel for all these girls in this episode but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 12 I believe but <laughs> but I'll see you in a moment Alrighty, episode 12 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm hmm. Yeah, so you always can be together. But damn, we can't do like, oh, let's get to know each other. Nah, let's start it. Time to get down with business. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with them helping you. You may have a science, you're a trio. You three have always been together. I still wonder 
especially with their situation with their coach. Like, oh my god, because we only have, I think I got like three more episodes left before I'm done. No, it's 16, so we're on 12. Four. Four more episodes left um, before we're on to part three. I wonder, truly, like, are they going to talk to their coach about the elephant in the room? But, I mean, we we got the answer and such, especially with a uh, homegirl going to see her coach's former coach and such. But it would also, to me, be smart if the girls end up talking to their coach and being like, oh, hey, we overheard. That, you know, you were thinking about going back into the league and stuff. But then, you know, what's your face also heard that you're not going. So, is it true? Yes or no? What are, what are you going to do? Like, with your career and with us. I mean, it would be interesting if she tried to, you know, balance it. Because I've seen people in the past do it myself. How? I've been one of them too. Where it's like, mm -hmm, but sometimes it is a little hard. She really might faint after this, because that is too much on her. And then frickin' Saki sister with her thunder AF swirling hand and play girl. I just saw for Kuro in this situation. Like, she hasn't won almost anything back since and it's just like, God... Oh. That's it, baby. You just. That's too much. You went way too far. And she has no one there to help you.
Hold up, hold up. How? How? Because I feel like there's no other move girl can make. Hey. Okay, thank God. I'm sorry. That the dog was throwing up. Oh my God, on my bed. Yeah, but you can't always be a waiting type, baby. Oh. I already know after this match, homegirl Tokyo is just gonna be like, good job everyone, faints. Be like, oh my god.
Excuse me. Somebody get her some water, please. And a pillow and a blanket. Let her rest. Oh my god. Everybody need a drink. Everybody did good. Good job, everybody. Go and lay y'all asses down. The fact that those two literally worked together for Kuro to get that final move, holy shit. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Good fucking game. I mean, this whole match had me on the edge of my fucking seat. <laughs> and you know what? In a way, that's not bad. That's good. But please, help her. Girl, use some damn third eye ability. She need rest. She need water. Oh, no, no. And see, none of them are near her. Oh, God. You just take care, I'm getting better. Wrong. Hmm. 
Not okay. Yeah. Y'all could call out to her. I think it is. I mean, because, oh, okay. I didn't think it was going to be Honoka. Uh uh. Nadoka. I thought it was going to be Saki and being like, oh, shit. Like, oh, wait, we can't talk to her right now. But, like, oh, no, it's a friend for the past. Yeah, we can talk real quick. But, like, okay. Now, for Toki. I'm happy Kuro got some points back. Even though she lost at the same time. I'm just happy for her. I'm proud. Proud baby. We are finally done with this damn match. Because I felt like this match was really stretching it to the core. But I understand. We are getting very down to the nitty gritty. With only four episodes left. But for Toki. To use her ability. In a way to help curl. I love that. But at the same time. It is very reckless. Because she's now like bedridden. She's got to say bedridden. For I'm guessing the majority of this series. Going into possibly part three. And it could have gotten. It could have been even major worse. Than what it is now. I mean truly using your abilities for anything. Is usually like a double edged sword. You're, you got to be cautious, but at the same time, yes, I get it. You need to take a risk, but it's very, very reckless. And she could have really hurt herself, but <sighs> all in the name of Mahjong. Still sitting there, huh? I mean, okay, hold on, wait, wait, Saki, hold up. That's an interesting character. I mean, character question to ask. I mean, you should know by the feelings. If you don't feel your sisters are around you anymore, then yeah, it's over.
all I'm going to say is this. With the four episodes that we have left. Because it's 12, we're on 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Um, I am hoping that each of these four episodes, except maybe the last two, are just a two-parter. Um, so both 13 and 14. Don't really overstep it. I feel like, you know, the matches for these next episodes should just be one episode and one episode only. But I get it if it's a little more stretched out. I mean, this one, this episode for this whole match was really stretched out and such. And I get the reason why. But I'm like, Jesus, like, when we finally got to the end of it, I'm like, damn, like, yes. But it was a good freaking match and a good game. But, oh, this was a lot. It, it was very interesting for Saki to also be like, okay, it's finally over. And so she can kind of breathe a sigh of relief because, you know, her sister is not really around there anymore. And she doesn't feel the same auras and stuff. So she can kind of truly relax and not um, essentially over question herself and such. But, of course, once her sister comes back again, that's when all those feelings are going to come all back up. But... Yeah, this was a really interesting thing to happen. I'm just excited for the next four episodes to see how this is going to conclude, what all is going to show up in part three, and how overall this show is truly going to end. Because this show can end in any freaking way. Like, I mean, truly. But of course, I gotta wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 11 and 12 of Saki Side A. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 13 and 14. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.